Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video where we try to complete every single combat achievement task there is. Now, in the last episode, we ended up finishing quite a lot of bosses. We got Barrows done, Callisto done, Chaos Elemental, Chaos Fanatic, Crazy Archaeologist, Deranged Archaeologist, Giant Mole, The Mimic, Scorpia, and Venonaris and Winter Todd. So we've completed all the Wilderness content, and we've also done a fair share of other bosses. In this video, we're basically looking forward to just completing as many bosses as we possibly can. I'm not not really going by the tier. I don't really care about tiers at all until we reach like God Wars or whatever. I'm just kind of going from boss to boss and doing whatever I enjoy doing. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. I think I have some hard grotesque guardian tasks that I still gotta complete. So I'll focus on doing those first. Before we get into the video, here is a quick word from today's sponsor. Opera GX is the world's first gaming web browser with a ton of features tailored to gamers. One of my favorite features is the Twitch integration. By simply clicking this icon, I'm instantly able to see my channel, everything about it and all the channels I follow and I love to watch on the daily basis. I find this feature to be very very useful but on top of that you have the Instagram integration, Twitter integration, Discord integration, you name it, it is probably here on the left side. Additionally, there is this thing called the GX control and here you can pretty much customize everything about your browser. You can limit your RAM, you can limit your CPU, it all depends on what your PC can handle. Maybe you thought that that was all, but let me tell you, it is not. By simply clicking the settings cog right over here on the left side, you're able to completely fully customize the features of the browser. You can change the theme and you can also force a dark pages. If you're worried about losing all the stuff you've saved up in your current browser, GX comes with a quick import tool. It lets you simply import everything you want from your old browser to GX, like your browsing history, bookmarks and cookies. Also, when you're using your mobile, you can connect to your desktop version using the flow feature to send files, videos or notes between browsers in just one click. So if Opera GX is something you are interested in, check out the link in the description and download Opera GX for free. If you are already using the browser, let me know so in the comments by using the hashtag Opera GX with your favorite feature. With all that being said, thank you once again to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. Here's the first thing I want to do in this video and I'm gonna start off with Zalcano. I have to kill five Zalcanos in a row perfectly. Knowing me, I tend to do a shit ton of mistakes. So I'm starting on 153. I wonder how long it's gonna take me to actually finish all the Zalcano tasks. Fuck! Combat task completed. Oh wait, what? Yo, I got scared. I just installed the Sea Engineer uh, completed plugin. <laughs> That's the first time it actually popped. So, with that one out of the way, I have now completed all the Zalcano tasks. Oh my god, this actually just made my day. If you guys want that, by the way, it's in Plugin Hub. If you're using Runelite, you just search for Sea Engineer completed. It, it is legit the best thing I've ever had. So, yeah, let's keep going. Let's move on to a new boss. Okay, I think it's time to stop procrastinating the grotesque guardians now i will first go for a speed run attempt i need to get 120 and then i will go for five perfect runs so hopefully i can do all of that in one slayer task uh actually i don't think i have many more on the slayer task so hopefully i can finish this in 74 we'll see i'll do my best though could this be it 130 i need to improve by 10 seconds more i think if i added the venge timer yeah i would be there i'm kind of just banking after every kill at this point because i'm trying to just have full spec bar and all that sort of thing in order to really get this going, but I think with a little bit of luck, I got this. Wait, what have I done? Sit back and relax. Excuse me? How is that completed? I don't even know what I did. I'm so lost. I was unaware, but the sit back and relax task requires you to use thralls to deal damage. So that now actually makes sense as to why it worked. Well, another personal best by one second. Still gotta get nine more seconds. I think this was a fairly decent run if I got a little bit luckier. I was on the first melee phase for too long. Another PB, 126. Still gotta get six more seconds, but I'm definitely getting faster. If I don't noodle here, I think that's it. Come on, please. There we go, 120. Please tell me it works. There it is, the Grotesque Guardian speedrunner. This took me longer than I thought it would, but I'm very happy to have it done, and I still have 48 on the task, meaning that I can actually give a proper shot to also complete a perfect task. If we quickly take a look here, I only have one task left, and that is to have five kills in a row, all be perfect kills without mistakes. Require a little bit of focus, I think I can do it. Let's give it a shot. There we go, I've done it. Okay, I actually didn't keep track, I just kept doing it at my own pace. 
base and perfect grotesque guardians are completed i'm very satisfied to have this done so look how green this looks this is wonderful i'm probably still gonna go ahead and finish this task you know what i'm just gonna kill regular gargoyles why not let's kill 30 of them i'll loot all of this loot on the floor because it's probably worth a ton and then we're gonna hope for some more slayer tasks i think i'm going to be taking my next tasks from konar until i get the alchemical hydra task and i can complete all the tasks regarding that and then i'll move on back to duradel and continue on doing my slayer there and we're basically just looking to get slayer boss tasks to complete as many as possible smoke devils in the smoke devil dungeon let's go ahead and see if there is any tasks regarding that but even if there isn't this task is just so good and i'm just gonna do it anyways looks like there's some very simple tasks one is to only use special attacks and wants to kill it without it hitting anyone i'm sure i can freeze it and go out of its range or something like that i'm unsure of how to complete that one yet all right will that do it oh someone else killed it that's so sad combat task completed Apparently this guy killed it and it counted because I dealt most damage with just me using two specs and then going to house. So now let's figure out how you kill this without taking any damage. Well, I actually think I know the play. If I just do one spec, teleport out, come back, one spec, teleport out, come back and repeat that, that should be able to do it, right? All right, so let's see if I had the right idea how to go about this. If this kills it and if I'm safe, this should be completed in my opinion. Ah, there it is. It did end up working. Got grimy told flex, you know what? I'm, uh, I'm gonna run back and pick that up, uh, but I'm happy to have another boss, Thermonuclear Smoke Devil, fully completed. Time for me to do some Varion, I have to get 100 KC, so this will actually take quite a while, the boss is fairly annoying, but... Let's get going. Left Vetion without much success. Here's a quick occult necklace from Smoke Devils. I am going to focus on a little bit of Slayer bosses. See if I can get some Kraken tasks. Maybe something else. We'll see how it goes. I just got a task of Calphites. And I think there should be some tasks that I gotta do. And then I'll skip it. So let's go ahead and do it. Alright, so let's see if I can complete a couple of tasks at the same time. One is to kill it with Vengeance. So I just need to wait it to hit me. So there it is. That should do it. And one is to only use Varax Flare as the main weapon. Which I also also did but I assume it didn't work because I was using vengeance so I have to go back and do another kill because one of the tasks is to kill 250 of them and I've already complete 229 I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this task until I'm done with it for one task I just need to lower its defense we're gonna utilize a dragon warhammer with that and for the other one is just to kill it in full varax pretty much so we're gonna do both of those things uh, but it's gonna take me two kills to finish there's another task of killing it whilst reducing its defense with a dragon warhammer Warhammer, I believe. And now one more where we only use the Ferrax. There it is. This should do it. Uh, it didn't do it. Why did it not do it? Well, hello? I got a dragon to hander, but it didn't complete my task. The only thing I can think about as to why this didn't work is maybe because of my ring of suffering. So I'm gonna give it another shot and just take a ring, like berserker ring, and see if that fixes it. All right, there it is. Hopefully this does it. All right, there it is. So it appears that you are not allowed to use suffering and it appears that you're not allowed to use vengeance while you're doing this task. If I'm not mistaken, there's only one thing left and that is to get 250 KC. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my best gear instead of this trash and we're gonna go ahead and do 18 more uh, Calphite Queen kills and then we should be done with another boss. I just noticed that I have not been doing this on Slayer at all because my task is in Calphite Slayer only cave and this is not a Calphite Slayer only cave. So I've been using my Slayer helm for basically absolutely no reason and i'll finish the full-on calphite task once i do get a task that requires me to kill it here so this is gonna be the last kill for now and i just got scammed for 30 minutes of my time so it is what it is uh, we're just gonna keep on slaying and see if i can get uh, you know any tasks that i can keep doing tasks with all right then i'll do 15 kills at a later date let's go ahead and grab a new task and hopefully get something like krakens or serb or who knows something like that or we could get Hydras, and Hydras, once again, do have a couple of tasks, quite a lot of them actually, and this is why we were taking tasks from Konar at the first place. So I hope in this task, I do end up finishing every single Hydra task there is, and there are 12 of them, so there's a ton of tasks, I don't know them by mind, but I think one of them is to like kill it with Darok on like 1 HP, and you have a lot of different options, I'll go through them, and we're slowly gonna start chipping down on them. So there's a ton of tasks with Hydra, therefore 
for I'm probably just gonna do a couple of normal kills and make sure I figure the boss out again I haven't done it since I don't know like a very long time ago so we're gonna focus on just doing some perfect runs and then we're gonna attempt a 1 HP Varrock run we're probably gonna be dying a bunch but we'll see how it goes all right well I've uh, done two of them I haven't I, I got hit by the the thingy right at the end so that doesn't count but there's two tasks done oh I left it on exactly 1000 kill count that's kind of cool I still don't have a pet here maybe I'll go for it at some point we'll see uh, but for now let's keep focusing on completing as many simple tasks as possible all right and there is two more one is to not get hit by the poison and one is to uh, I'm not sure do something else the second one was to kill it without empowering it we've just completed an alchemical speed chaser which I think is to do it in under 145 I'll still have to do it in under 125 but for that we'll do it later right now I'm just trying to get some perfect runs where I don't actually take damage so there is a perfect alchemical hydra completed very nice if I wasn't gonna do it here I was gonna do it when I do the Darok run anyways because I'm pretty much not able to do mistake once I do dive into that I have no idea how many I've killed in a row now but I'm trying to get 15 but my supplies are dwindling so we'll see how that goes there it is I skipped a flame this time around dealt enough damage to the red face and that's another task and I'm definitely getting close to 15 kills trip I hope completely no supplies left though and there it is working overtime completed 15 kills in a row without leaving the instance and this is where we are gonna start trying to attempt a speed run now because I have to basically have a completely different inventory to do so but if we quickly take a look at the Hydra right now there are only two tasks left available and they are both Grandmaster tasks but I'll try to tackle them at least the Darok one for sure and the speed run we will attempt in order for me to tackle the speed run alchemical Hydra task I have a couple of strategies in place I'm gonna be using vengeance but also spellbook swap in order to swap to Arceus spellbook and use a little thralls to help me out with the damage I also brought a dark bow for a special attack I, I don't know I feel like better than no spec maybe a dark bow spec could help and then blowpipe for when the uh, hydra is very low hit points I'm gonna only do one kill a trip and we'll see how long it takes to get a one minute and 20 kill um but yeah I'm looking forward to it we'll see how it goes all right so I've been at it for a little bit and as you can see I have a 1048 kill count but I haven't really gotten close to beating my PB so what I'm gonna do right now is just to swap it around a little bit I'm gonna attempt to complete a Darok task so we're just gonna do it on 1 HP Darok and then I will return to this speed task and try to get it down to 120 I've been a bit unlucky on some occasions where I think I could have had it but I think my idea is correct with my inventory and using vengeance and the Arceus spellbook I just need more time and more RNG to actually finish it for now though let's uh, bring out the full Darok and let's lower our HP HP to 10 and see how it goes all right this will require quite a little bit of focus I'm just gonna double read to make sure I'm doing the correct thing here yeah as you can see I can't go above 10 hit points so basically the idea is if I don't get the first prayer right I just straight up teleport out so I don't get one hit we're gonna pot up we're gonna guzzle down to one HP and uh, yeah we're probably gonna die a lot all right well let's uh, let's begin so if I see a mage hit I TP immediately Unless it kills me first. Well, that's 104 Hydra. God damn it. This is gonna be rough. Well, attempt number two. Okay, so I think this time, since it's quite a way, I'll actually be able to teleport. If it is. That's range hit. Okay, that's one range. Two range. Three range. I'll have to fucking sprint. Oh my god, no way. I think I can eat like that. Two, three, one. Oh my god, this never hits. Two range. Three range. Good thing I brought the Gothic's restores. Wait, two mage. Three mage. It could. Could be that it hits me with the fucking pull right now. Yeah, one range, two range, three range. How do I dodge these though? One range. Do I just sprint around? Bro, why am I so stupid? Oh, dude, I'm so stupid. I actually had it there and I fucked up basically. And I, now I don't have any blessings either to get back. The oh, my this is just a disaster. This is just a complete disaster right now. Hydra 2, me, 0. All right, then here we go again. Might throw the fucking shits at me now. <laughs> ah! I'm good. One mage. Fell asleep a bit. I'm so stupid. Why do I... What's wrong with me? Okay, let's mark that. I... What? I'm so... Oh, that's 3-0. It's the fire phase that gets me because I want to hit it because I think I'm using range, but I'm not. It is what it is. I'm gonna have to start accepting donations soon to be paying for these death costs, but uh, yeah, maybe the next time's the charm or whatever. Okay, good luck me. I am so stupid. Oh my god, man. It hits like instantly. Like it's the same tick. What am I doing? 
Alright, here we go again. Okay, here we go. I tanked the range hit. There it is, completing alchemical hydra whilst being less than 10 HP the whole time. Now for this time, I decided that I'm actually gonna sit on 9 HP, because if I get hit by acid, there's a chance I survive kind of thing. But there it is, it's done, so now the only thing I have left is a speedrun attempt, which I will obviously try, so I would love to finish every task there is, uh, whilst I still have this layer task, if that makes sense. So, I'm very happy this is done. I actually took a little bit of a break from the last uh, failed attempts, uh, but there it is, just one more task left with the alchemical hydra. I've been trying to get a speed kill for a while now and the best I got was 126. So I'm unleashing my uh, new power. I brought full max melee and into a full max range switch. Now I kind of ditched a blowpipe because I don't think it really works. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start off by specking it out and then we're gonna do a sick little eight way switch like that and we're gonna continue on the kill with the range. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I can get a speed kill with that. I also have both pots and whatnot. So we'll see if I'm successful with this attempt. I'll still be venging and I'll still be using the new spellbook at the same time. We'll see. I might fully substitute and ditch the venge and only use the spellbook swap for the Archaea spellbook. We'll see. I'll practice and we'll see. But the problem with this is I first need to go in and do one kill normally and then I can attempt the speed kill because you see the problem by me running in and Hydra being here is I already lose like five to six seconds before I can even lower it. I can basically start off the speed run only at the start of the second kill. This could be it. I think it's gonna be like a 120 something. 125! Ah. Uh, one more hit would have been enough, I think, if I didn't noodle. Or if I had spec, I'd 125 without spec this time around. Damn it. Well, we keep going. I still have uh, 70 on the task. This is much harder than I thought it would be. Alright, well, I just got a Hydra's Fang, which I think is a part of a ring, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is a second part. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, uh, the full ring is only worth like 4 million anyways. And still no luck with finishing the 120 speedrun and Unfortunately, my best run was one, two, three. This is doable, maybe. One more hit. There, this has to be it, actually. That was the really lucky kill. And I didn't even use specs. Oh my god, 117. I just had to complain. In the last clip, I was like, there's no way I do this. I've been at this for like three days now, basically. Because believe it or not, a Hydra task takes forever to complete. Even if you look at my money that I made, 125kc, 14 million, just straight up cash we've made. And we've completed this Grandmaster task. And with that, we have also completed the Alchemical Hydra. Now, very quick apologies for the fan blowing right at me it is a million degrees here so hopefully it doesn't ruin the clip too much uh, but if we take a look at the bosses right here and if we go under the alchemical hydra it is fully green right now and i know of a lot of people that get really stuck on this step this step is really annoying to finish uh, but now i'm actually gonna go ahead and finish the remaining of 32 i might as well i'm still technically hunting for a pet in this place uh, and my kc is 1125 and i've never even gotten a claw so maybe we get some big payout if we keep at it with this task so i'll go ahead finish this 32 and and then we move on to Duradel Slayer because we no longer need to kill Hydra. All right, we've just completed the bloat in two down. Mm hmm. I see. I did two too and died. <laughs> All right, yeah, I could do a shit ton better. Well, I haven't done it since release, so I mean, I've I haven't had the purple in 43 KC, so it could happen. Uh, okay. Watch me, watch me get a pet. 41k. Though. No way! What? what? Are you kidding me? No. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> you are actually trolling. All right then, here we are in the art zone. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pets, and now luckily number ten. That was very lucky. One KC, literally top I did after I've done a bunch on the release on this account. So here it is. Very happy with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in uh, in the bank alongside my other pets. Very happy to have this done, honestly. And obviously there's still a bunch of tasks I have to do with TOB, uh, but there it is. It is now happily living in a brand new home. Really happy with this, actually. Let's keep doing some TOB, see if we can knock out some of more tasks. Uh, we've only completed the bloat one, but that's mainly on me because I haven't done this since the release, as I said. Right, let's get back to it. All right, there we go. We've just done a... <laughs> A perfect bloat task, wonderful, very nice. So this task was basically to just tank three ball attacks whilst you ticket it. So I had a boys ticket it because I'm obviously shit at the game and that's another task completed. All right, and that should be another task. Can you dance? Meaning we didn't use any range weapons on the Xarpus. So very solid, another task done. Let's move on to Verzik. All right, and that should be back in my day. A task where you don't use a scythe, basically. Very fun. Why am I stuck? I don't know. There it is. Uh, we've done it. 
And let's see if we can get a purple, maybe. Oh, I got an elite. Let's go. All right, so which ones are we doing next? We go uh, League of Legends game. <laughs> All right, we're going to be doing some entry mode DOB right now. And the reason for the entry mode is going to be there's a bunch of tasks with it. So let's go ahead and see how many we can do. Hopefully we can complete all of them. Uh, probably not in one go, but maybe in a few goes. There should be the very first achievement with no uh, blood spawns spawning. Very nice. How stupid is that? Like, why is that a thing to just run around? All right, yeah, that's a task. That's actually funny. So that completion was to actually use South throughout the fight. And unfortunately, I didn't get the last Sea Halley spec. So uh, we're going to have to do one more run. Ah, there we go. Yep, that, that, that did it. Nice, thank you. All right, and that should be another task after we defeat the boss. Let's see if that worked. Just to be safe, there it is, splitting the ball. Very nice. Let's keep going. And there it is. Don't look at me. All you need to do here is not hit it when it looks at you. Simple as that, really. Uh, let's see if we can do some maiden tasks as well. That task was to not lose any pillars. And now, since I'm pretty bad at this part, uh, one task is to not get bounced. So now I just need to not get bounced, basically. <gasps> oh, no way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we didn't even do it in time. <laughs> Dude, 100k loot, we take it, we take it. That should do it. Yeah, it's done. Nice. Nice. Combat task completed. There we go, I've done it. Was it in time? No way. We have to do one more. This is pain. Pain and suffering. And there it is. That is going to be every single Theater of Blood entry mode task completed. If we take a look at the bosses right here, there it is. The entry mode is done. Now we're going to move to normal TOB and then we're going to move on to hard TOB. We'll see how hard this will actually be, but it is kind of starting to look a little bit more green. Not fully green yet, but with enough time, we'll have everything completed. Now that we have the entry mode TOB done, while I'm waiting for my team, I'm gonna be doing other tasks. And one of the tasks I really want to do is to kill Hespori in under 36 seconds. Now, this is quite challenging, but pretty doable. There are some other tasks that I'll focus on in the future. But for now, I definitely want to kill it in less than 36 seconds. So the meta for that is to actually use once again, the Arcaea spell, use the death charge with with the little thralls, one DDS spec into a crystal Halley spec and then hope for the best basically. I have a desert amulet to teleport and recharge my stats immediately and farming cape to get right back here and we'll see how it goes. And there we go, we've just completed the task, I failed my spec so I teleport out. There it is, the Hespori speedrun completed, took me about 25 minutes of attempts but we've done it in 0.33 seconds with 3 seconds to spare. Now you can do this with a skip where you only kill these little flowers twice, but I had to do it three times and I also completed a bunch of others. Hespori isn't, Hespori Speed Chaser, Hespori Speed Trialist, all of those are completed. The one I'm missing right now is going to be the one that requires me to do it without losing any prayer points. And we'll obviously do this in a day or two, but uh, yeah, let's see if we get any good loot. Yeah, nothing crazy from that, but I'm happy to have this one out of the way. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and quickly do all the KBD tasks right now. This is probably gonna be one of the last things I want to do in this video, simply because it's turning kind of long already. Uh, but I think I can do all of these very quickly. Now, I have to do it with melee. One of the tasks is to do it with a stab weapon. And then we basically just need to get 10 kills in a private area. And this is the gear I'm using. It's definitely not your the gear you want to go with. But, uh, you know, I just quickly throw this together with no risk and just came here to see how it goes, basically. But yeah, let's get quick 10 kills. Hopefully, I can do it and we'll end the video there all right this should be a couple of tasks actually the melee prey is on the anti-fire was on and the height penetration was on so we did it with a dragon hunter land so those are the three tasks that i basically did straight up and now i just need to get nine more kills in this instance and this gear sucks is what i've noticed it almost never hits speaking of that and then i hit three times in a row well never mind and there it is that is going to be all the kbd tasks also done so let's just get out to safety real quick make sure that, that was actually Actually it. Here it is, 6 out of 6, King Black Dragon completed, and with that, I think we have enough content for this video, so here's where I'm gonna call it. I really do hope you guys did enjoy this video. The next video is gonna be either a combat achievement video or a, a deadman mode video. I'm not sure when this goes out, so we'll see what comes out next. But anyways, thank you very, very much for watching, and if you made it this far in the video, please consider leaving a like, consider leaving a comment, maybe subscribe, we're almost at 100k, and I'll see you very soon with another video. Have a good one everyone and bye bye.